So, and I hope we're live. Roger, are we up and running? Thank you. So, welcome back again to the demo room here in Shista. Last time you visited us, you were listening in to a webinar about fixed cameras with intelligence. A few things here today will be a little bit repeating what we did at that time, so just bear with me, but I think it will make sense in the end of this presentation. Moving cameras with intelligence. Yeah, it's a pretty big topic. Today is a general session, so I will not go down in details with the different products. That will be separate sessions about those ones in a few days. But what I will start with is to explain a bit about the portfolio and the difference we have in form factors and in the intelligence within the cameras. What you can see here is that we have different types of products that is starting from the indoor versions with the 4000i series. You also have a few 5000i series that could be used indoors. 4 and 5000, as you probably learned in the last session, contains essential analytics. So that is the hardware performance that gives us the possibility to do essential analytics. Stepping up also into the outdoor environment, we will have the Autodom 5000i, the Starlight 5000i with illumination, and also now the new friend in the family, I shouldn't say small sister or small brother, it's actually a big brother because this baby pretty much can do everything. It's the 7000i that has an updated camera block and an updated intelligence to be able to do equally smart things as the extreme outdoor products that is the Metal Mickeys. As I told you before, I will not go into details about all these products, but I will mention shortly what they're all about. So, going into the Autodomes, this is really the product series that you have seen a long time from Bosch. The Autodome. What you see here also is that we now have the complete portfolio starting with the 4000, going into 5000 and stepping up to the 7000 series. You can also see that we are increasing the performance, we're increasing uh, the zoom ratio and we're increasing the intelligence as we go. So when you stop, start with the 4 and 5000 that has essential analytics, and when you go to the 7000i, you're immediately bringing one extra level of intelligence into your camera. So the 7000i series cameras are now contained with IBA when it's moving, it has auto track, and it has the possibility to do IBA when it's moving together with camera trainer. That's really a major step when it comes to the 7000i series. Stepping up from the autodomes and going into the mix series. Yeah, this is really where you go into the extremes. The Metal Mickey is a camera series we got into the Bosch world through an acquisition quite a few years when we acquired the Forward Vision and Derwent company in the UK that have done the Metal Mickey for quite a few years. That's a long story. But what we gained at that time was the capability of bringing really ruggedized products with good outdoor performance usage into our portfolio. And that is what we have been doing since that day. Now in this version and this revision we have in the mix, we have enabled several things that was not capable in outdoor cameras before. So what we have here is a complete new series of mix. We call them 7100i. They are really tough. They are deployed with the latest hardware to do really, really good intelligent analytics. It has a new classification for corrosion that bring them into the use cases of several different environments like tunnels, offshore, and in mines, for example. And also what I would like to come back to is the MiG 9000i. That's the big brother in the family that has a thermal block and a normal block to be able to be used in both day and night and environments without any artificial illumination. So that's the mix. They are so important for us, so we will have a separate webcast about them. So this is just general. But when you refer to Bosch products, we always refer to starlight quality. That's the technology that makes our cameras being used in really low light environments. We are able to do good picture quality in backlight situations, in lighting situations, where you have huge difference between bright and dark areas. We are doing this 
with a lot of images per second to be able to give you good images to be identifying objects that are moving fast. On the MiG-7000, we all also have enabled image stabilization that is optical, not some electronic stuff, but optical image stabilization. So I will demonstrate that later on in the upcoming seminar, but it's a huge improvement in image quality. When you have a good image quality, you also would like to keep the bitrate low. And that is something we try to do with all our products, including the fixed cameras. No difference in the moving ones as well. But it's even more important if you have a moving camera that you would like to reduce the bitrate. So that's also something we're proud of. If you now have succeeded to have a good picture quality, you have video analytics, you are saving a lot of data, you would like, of course, to keep it as secure as possible. And we do this by using hardware components built in into the camera. So we have a dedicated TPM module in all our cameras, starting from 4000i, moving cameras going up to 9000i, and we also have them in the fixed camera, starting in the 3000 series. So all our products have the same usability of this TPM module. So it's really a nice way for us to keep the most secure part as safe as possible in our products. So we have a good image performing camera at a low bit rate and a real secure way, and then we start adding the intelligence. The intelligence is really done on the edge in the camera itself. Regardless if it's a fixed one or a moving one, we start by generating all data, all information, on the raw material, the raw video in the camera pipeline. We don't do it on any compressed video on the network. We do it on the raw data. That also gives us a possibility to add a lot of information into this raw data. I would like to show you a video very soon where we are demonstrating what can be achieved. But it's not just for the alarming and events. It's also stored, so afterwards we can always use this information to search for, even if we did decided not to make an alarm of it in, initially in the camera. So, time for popcorn and video. Uh, this video is an illustration, but the illustration is done to be very, very obvious. And I will try to stop the video for a short while and talk about what you see. In the screen, you have several different types of objects. An object here called a person. It's a car. We have, as a manufacturer, decided to classify this as a person. We can also see that if we have a bicycle running here, it's going about 20 kilometers per hour. We have a blue car. We have a red car. We have always a trajectory of the history of how a person has been moving, or a car, or an object whatsoever. At the same time, you can also see that we have something up here, and that's the geolocation, the geoposition of a specific object in the scene. All this is metadata. So perhaps in a moving camera, in a pre-position at the parking place, we decide to make alarms if blue cars are going this way, below 20 kilometers per hour. That is perhaps what we would like to make the alarm about. A moving camera can have 16 positions of places where you can get all the metadata and get all this information to make an alarm of. And that's also being possible, being searched. Because perhaps afterwards, I don't want to know what I all set up in my previous alarm situation. I would like to know if there has been a black car standing in this position for more than 45 hours. I can do that. By using the metadata, the raw data, to do the search afterwards. So this is really a nice improvement. All the moving cameras starting from 7000i up to 9000i can do this. If you have a 4000 and a 5000, do you think you can do it as well? Yes. You can do the same thing starting from the 4000i series going to the 9000 series. All moving cameras have the metadata generation. You can do the alarming and you can do the search afterwards. But there is a bit of a difference when you consider essential analytics in the 4 and 5,000. Intelligence when you come to 7 and 9,000 for the moving cameras. It's about robustness. 7,000 and 9,000 can go a bit longer. It's a 
bit more robust when it comes to interference of rain, snow, shaking, vibrations and stuff like that. So it's more robust for outdoor environments and it will go longer in distance than the essential analytics. But what you also will have is the capability of using Camera Trainer. Camera Trainer is a usage of the hardware performance in the cameras to do machine learning and teaching the camera objects that you would like the camera to recognize. And this is completely brand new for moving cameras. You could actually train the camera to understand and train it that this is a parked car. But if you would like to, you can also train the camera to find a coffee cup on the table. It can find a remote control in the room. It can find a glass of water. So it's up to you to now start training the camera for what you would like it to recognize and to make an alarm of. So that's the camera training part and that's only available if you have a camera with intelligent video analytics. If you think this is interesting, I will also show you and give you the link to where we have a lot of different examples of video analytic tools. Uh, let's see if I can quickly go over to that one. I have it over here. So this is a clickable PDF. You can actually run it in full screen. Uh, and when you do that, you have a nice opportunity to either scroll down or just move in the clickable PDF and look and find the file you would like to replay of that specific example of Bosch Video Analytics. And we both have the essential ones, we have the intelligent ones, and we have them for fixed and moving cameras. So you have a lot of nice information, and a lot of nice video clips that you can use in your discussion with customers. So that is something also you will have the ability to get from our web page where you will have the registration as well. Going back to the presentation, uh, and we think this is so important, so we will have dedicated webinars about IVA, EVA and camera training coming up in a few weeks. So that is giving me the, the cue to go over to more about the intelligence in the 7 and 9000 because there is one thing when it comes to our moving cameras that is really unique and that's the possibility of doing video analytics at the same time as the camera is moving. I told you that it's possible of doing IVA in these 16 fixed positions. Yes, it is. But what you also can do, as we demonstrate on this video, together with the Autodom 7000i and the Mix series, is to do video analytics at the same time as the camera is moving. And this is something that never had been uh, available in standard cameras before, but now it is. So what you can see here is the difference of a regular PDZ camera that you can only use video analytics at the time when the camera is standing in a fixed position. Now you can use a Bosch camera, either an Autodom or a Mic, to be able to do this at the same time as it's panning around or if it's in a guard tool that you have decided yourself. You can draw an area, you can make a field, and as soon as an object is entering the field, you can start activating, for example, AutoTrack to follow the object automatically. And this is something that is brand new for the autodomes, but has been available in the MIC cameras for a short while. So now we also have this possibility in the autodomes. Camera trainer, I will come back to that one later. But remember, a moving camera in the 7000 or 9000 series can have up to 16 different preposition. And in these 16 preposition, you can have 16 different trained objects as classifier. So that makes it a nice multi-usable a multi-feature product. So that's pretty much what I had planned for the actual cameras. One thing I would like to repeat a bit is a part of the remote portal that we also talked about for the fixed cameras. If you haven't seen this one before, please get back. But remote portal is the place where you set up the cameras, you manage the cameras, you administrate them, you can have information if there is a malfunction in a product, you can do remote commissioning, remote setup, remote firmware update, and do all the things you can do on site, you can also do through the remote portal. 
And the best thing is you don't need to be an IT expert to set it up. There are features built into the solution to have it easily adapted and communicating with the remote portal and your own configuration devices. So that's a really nice thing and that's valid for all cameras. What we also have done is that we updated the product assistant tool. For the ones of you who haven't seen this one before, there is a video, a short video in the fixed camera session, please look at it, that will briefly explain what the product assistant is doing together with the remote portal and how to connect it also to a customer's environment. We will have a separate webinar about that one, showing it much more in detail how you can use it. It's very nice, it's simple, and it will save you time, cost, and you have the ability to have a better cost of ownership also as an end user. And that is where I'm going to wrap up this session today. Uh, I said there will be no Q&A session in the end of this one, so I really hope that you have been able to ask your questions through the chat. Uh, Roger and I will take care of it and look into it, and if we see that there is something we haven't answered, we will try to get back with the information to you through our web page with the people who have registered, so you can have that information for yourself later on. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you all for joining here today. So see you soon in a webinar close to you, and stay healthy and stay safe, and bye from Shista. <laughs>